Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 28 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. So when Race came out, Jagex also decided to nerf boosting. So with the nerf, I cannot camp at Abyssal Demons at level 80 Slayer now because boost currently will not last any more than 1 minute unless you hop worlds or log out in about 10 seconds. And unfortunately for me, there is no way in hell I can kill Absol Demons in 10 seconds. So that means, yep, I have to get to 85 Slayer with a Dragon Skin Guitar. I mean, I could make 200 Wild Pies to get around 400 Absol Demon kills, but I'm pretty sure making the pies and stuff would actually slow me down more than uh, me grinding from 80 to 85 with the Dragon Skin Guitar. So I can't be doing that. But yeah, it's a slight change of plans. But if you are trying to make your boost last an infinite amount of times by, you know, hopping and stuff before it resets, I don't think you'll be able to do most of those type of activities. So yeah, keep that in mind now. Okay, well I actually hit 87 strength. That actually got me to freaking 97 combat, damn. At this rate, I'm going to be 100 combat very soon. So I got a bunch of construction bones that I've gotten from PVM, but believe me when I say... I got three curved bones in the beginning of this character in less than three weeks. What in the world? But I'm gonna cash in right now because I want to uh, make use of construction. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. I should be getting 17,000 construction experience. Yep. And that gets me all the way to 40 construction. This should be the Lardar 2 47 construction. So I managed to get myself enough oak planks to, yeah, get to 47. And now I can boost from 47 to uh, 55 so I can create the armor stand to repair my barrel's armor because I have used quite a bit of my barrel's armor and they uh, definitely need some repairing so this way it's a bit cheaper which is good for me looking real nice on the combat gains guys alright I got the boost now for the second time and yes there we go made the armor stand so luckily doing construction boosting even with this nerf is uh, still pretty doable so you have to make sure you prepare yourself well if you want to pull off the boost holy shit Marboil gargoyle just spawned okay and I actually haven't done this before but luckily I did my research alright there we go this should be the end of its life get out of here wow 2.8k nice good experience but adamant plate legs uh, a bit disappointing but whatever take it so I think this week might be a great time to uh, give Dagonoff Rex another shot just because you know raids are coming out and I'm really hoping that everyone PVM wise is you know going uh, and doing raids instead of at uh, DK's certainly it should be less crowded so I'm gonna give it another shot and also I do have a Dagonoff task as well so this will make it even better so what a great time to try you know Wish me luck. Man, the trip was going so good. Like, I could have stayed there for, I don't know, a long ass time, but no, somehow I didn't bring enough fire runes, man. GG. I must have not checked the fire runes because uh, originally this was meant for alking, and I was like, oh, I got the fire runes. I'll just put some deaths in. Yeah, I forgot to check the fire runes, so rip. Hopefully, I can find another world. And another kill. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was so worth it. Holy shit. Oh man, did I just get this? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm not dreaming. Oh my lord, I got something. I got a drop. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. I, I got a PVM drop on the hardcore now. What? That is so sick. Oh my goodness, dude. Yes. Dragon Axe! Okay, well, you know, it's not the ring, but... Yo, whatever, man. First legitimate PVM drop on this character, man. Not Barrels, you know, because Barrels isn't really... Like a true boss, but... Dagonoth Rex certainly is, man. I'm gonna be slaying at the Woodcutting Guild for sure. Oh, man, this is insane, guys. I was right to grind Barrels for, you know, the full tank gear because... Look at this! I've done so many kills! I'm not, not even kidding. I started with 16. I'm now at 20. I've done 12 kills. And how much food did I use? Like nothing. I've used almost nothing. So that that is amazing. So I could really stay here for a very long time. Probably like 40 kills. You know, even with this setup. 
ridiculous. Yo, oh my god. I can't believe it, dude. He, she tried. I mean, it's probably a guy. This guy tried to crash me, and he almost got destroyed by Prime. Oh my god, Prime should have killed him. That's what you get, man. Karma gets you back hard. Oh no, a three minute blade. Okay. All right, that's okay, man. I'm. I mean, 66 kills in. It's not too crazy. Can I get the ring, please? A little early. That'd be great, cause. I gotta stay up mad late just so I can do this. You'll probably get crashed. I'll probably get crashed soon though, to be honest. I'm only staying here for as long as I can. Oh my god! Oh, holy shit! Oh my lord, I am out of here. <laughs> wow, man. Dude, it was worth it. It was so worth it, you know, staying up for a second night. Oh, uh, well, it's only 1 a.m., so I, I was honestly planning. Um, to stay up till like 4 a.m. to finish off this task, you know, of uh, of 59 left, but oh, it's such a relief to get it at a decent KC, 79 KC, man. That is so nice, and I got the ring that you know I really wanted. The warrior ring, I probably would have accepted as well, just cause I I don't want to be too picky, but yo, berserker ring, hell yes, man. I'm gonna go imbue this bad boy right now. Road to 87 Slayer is gonna be uh, that much more pleasant thanks to, you know, this new addition. Cannot wait to use this. So during these like 60, 70 uh, Dag Rex kills during these two days where I thought there might not be as many people and finding a world would be like pretty decent because a lot of people going to raids. I was partly right. I mean, I noticed that there weren't as many like max combat players at DKs, but honestly, I still got crashed a shit ton. Like yesterday, I, I think I did like Rex for maybe three hours, but I got crashed like at least 10 times. And today I was there for like an hour and uh, I would have stayed for more, but yeah, I got crashed at least four times already. So it's still pretty, pretty aged to do uh, Diagonal Rex. So I don't know. I guess if you, you are like similar to me where you need to grind for a B ring, well, you're in for an amazing, amazing experience, Kappa. What? I just got a longbow from Nightmare Zone. What in the world? I think, yes, it does happen, but like, wow. All right, I am gonna leave Nightmare Zone because I definitely have enough points now to imbue this sexy ring. So let's go ahead and do that. Upgrades, yes. Oh my God, dude. I can't believe it, man. Now I can truly say I've done some significant PVM on this hardcore guy. No longer am I just talking that I'm gonna do PVM. I am actually doing it and I've done some. So that's awesome to see, man. Plus a strain bonus. Oh man, I can't wait to start doing Slayer again. This is so nice. Oh, come on, man. Recording skills are getting choppy today. Just hit 80 a strength, guys. And that's two more levels to go for my first level 90 skill on this account that's gonna be really nice coming up and of course I have been using the berserker ring I and yeah it is amazing definitely speeds up my kills significantly especially on stuff like fire giants where they don't have any defense so all that extra you know damage output I get from the ring it, it really does stack up the speed so nicely man so today's episode is a little short but bear with me this week has been pretty hectic with all the raid stuff going on so obviously i spent a lot of my free time doing raids but yeah it was very worth it but i really wanted to uh, get this episode out for you guys so you guys can you know hear the great news of like the amazing uh, pvm achievements that we've gotten on today's episode so this episode is a huge huge milestone for this hardcore iron man because if you watch from the beginning you know that I've really set my eyes out on trying to get to PVM on this Hardcore Iron Man. I really didn't want to be like a skiller focused Hardcore Iron Man because I just didn't think it was really hardcore to be, you know, going for ranks on this character. It's still nice and all to be going for like high score ranks, but when you think of hardcore, you think of how far can you get in like bossing, how far can you survive doing really dangerous things and still make accomplishments. And on this episode, I have proven that you can get things done with just one life you know you can go bossing get some amazing items and doing that 
and this is only just the first step into like the hardcore PVMing with one life. And of course, the next biggest thing would be to get that 87 Slayer, get the Trident, and slay some Zora, and hope that I do get some awesome PVM items from Zora before I ultimately die. So if I can do that, oh my god, dude, that would be so amazing. So we'll see about that. I usually don't talk too much about like social medias outside of like YouTube because I tend to keep those things relatively separate. But a lot of people have uh, requested that you know at least inform you guys every now and then about like other social media stuff. So the Twitter is pretty straightforward. I usually update people on when I like you know will be uh, posting a video or just anything RuneScape related. And my Twitch is pretty straightforward. I just live stream uh, my RuneScape progress when I can for any of my accounts. So if you guys are Twitter users or Twitch users, feel free to follow me on those as well. Hopefully I'll you know be able to uh, see you guys in these other social media platforms as well for kind of different experience from YouTube. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you guys soon with another video of games in a few days. Take care.